Hey, good afternoon. Welcome back to Macro Online Tactics and Strategy. If you're watching this video on Facebook, that's the name of the channel. If you're watching on YouTube, then it's just Crypto OKI. And you're watching on stream, uh, then you're watching Crypto OKI. Yeah, welcome back. So this is my top 10 most amazing things about the new players uh, community. I would like to add the new players and comps, but it's just, I just, it's all new players community. So this is the most amazing things about it. And I, I'm so proud of the NWO community. And um, yeah, so I just, I just love hanging out. CDU are mostly just all new players. And it's just, it's just been a blast. Every single person I meet, they're all essentially uh, less than three months old. And as a, on occasion, I meet somebody who's more uh, of a veteran and stuff that, that can help us out. But by and large, we're mostly new, so it's a lot of fun. Okay, so here is my top 10 favorite things about new player, and they're so amazing. All right, so number one is resiliency. Uh, new players are the most resilient group in MWO. I mean, any other groups, I mean, they're, emotion they're just going to emotional breakdowns uh, when things doesn't work out. For some reason, new players, they just brush it off on a shoulder and just move on. And they just constantly, they're, they're, uh, that's one word for me to describe the new player community, just resilient. They are just very resilient group of people. Uh, I think this is just a gamer attitude. Not only that, the, uh, the majority of the MWO community are much older and uh, they're not young. So it's not, it's not the Call of Duty crowd or full of teenager running around shooting each other. And it's a much older crowd, a lot more patient, a lot more tactical shooting. Uh, so it just, the resiliency is just unbelievable. I love listening to them. I love watching them. I love talking to them. I love just hearing their thoughts about uh, how they do things and um, and how they bounce off. And you know, when things get frustrated, they don't let it get deter them at all. They just move on. And the success of CDU shows a reflection of that. And uh, so I want to thank them for that also. Hey, right. number two, number two. I uh, I don't know anything about MWO, never heard of MWO, and uh, when I came to this game, uh, so I don't know anything about the lore. So number two, make you fall in love with the lore again. Um, for me, it's really not again, because I never had, I didn't know about the lore. So it make you fall in love with the lore, because for some reason, the new players that bring in, so you know, when you're so busy playing, you're just grinding out and just enjoying having fun, uh, you forgot about what is a clan, what is an inner spear, uh, all the family, all the factions out there, all the mechs are designed for you know for certain families, and it's just so much fun to uh, to hear the story from new players about the lore, about all the different uh, amazing amazing inner spear fighting in this year 3000 something, and it's amazing. The other thing that uh, new players also talk to me about a lot is tabletops because they're always constantly comparing to the mechs they pilot and to the tabletop. I never played tabletop games and, uh, and it's, it just sounds so much fun. Um, you know, I wish I have people who play tabletop in my area here, you know, I would jump in and play with them. But uh, yeah, so it, it's, it's just amazing. Make, making you fall in love with the lore is, is one of the, I think one of the greatest joy about meeting new players. So it's a lot of fun, right? Number three. Training is fun. I love training with new players. Uh, you know, CDU, we do training every Thursday, and this video is a training video. This is a Wednesday training, and you can see this is Team America. Team America, essentially, we have people, you know, in a couple weeks old, and, uh, you know, we have range uh, a couple months, couple weeks, and some of them, I don't even know who they are. I never met them before. They just joined, and, uh, and so they're in Team America and in my group right now. Uh, we just got so big, we had four different groups. Uh, of co competitive team. So the purpose was to create a, we want to introduce comp team to new players, uh, comp environment to new players, so the eSport environment, the competitive nature. So it's fun. So this is kind of a new way to get them there. And so Team America is open play and open training. That means anybody can come in, anybody in CDU can come in and enjoy and help us out. And you can see it is so much fun uh, when uh, you're just watching this video and just watching us play and it's just the discussion the dialogue the conversation that it, it just it's just amazing I love training with new, new players okay 
Uh, one of the things I like about it is that they're willing to try new ideas. Like I know, I only know what I know. Some people only know what they know, and we put together, and then we're just gonna try and have fun. Uh, we're we're not expert by any means, and so new players in our units, they just love willing to try anything, and I just love that aspect of that. And with that, they're willing to learn. You know, they're willing to do something so they're not repeating the same mistake over and over again. Uh, but we're not holding, you know, like some other veterans, they kind of force us, you know, like, well, since we teach you, now you have to use our method. We don't do that here in our in our unit. So you play how you play. We want you to have fun in the way you play. You want to be an LOM for the rest of your time in MWO, bow me and go for it, enjoy. But we're just going to show you uh, some of the way, the technique that we learn uh, from other people. And then, you know, if they can, if they want to adopt it, it's great. If they don't want to adopt it, it's fine. Uh, so, uh, they, but they're willing to learn and they want to try and they're asking questions and that's what uh, I love about it. The other thing I love about uh, training with new player is willing to challenge us, you know. They, some of them, their skill level is not the same as us. Uh, we, uh, they in one-on-one -on -one situation, I know I can kill them. And, uh, but it's just that they still make it fun, they still make it challenging. So it's, it's amazing on that. Uh, I just love that aspect because they're just willing to try anything. Uh, the, the biggest thing about for us in CDU, uh, you know, training is fun for us, is that uh, with new players, it doesn't create the echo chamber effect. So when you have a bunch of new players um, and, and a bunch of people who just play with each other all the time, it's essentially we're just talking to each other about the same problem. It's just so funny sometimes to see new players talking to other new players and they, we think that we know what we're doing, but we really don't. And so, uh, and the day we just want to have fun. And, but we don't realize we create our own echo chamber effects. So number three, training with new player is a lot of fun. Number four, is force you to think outside the box with everything. I mean, when you play with new players, uh, everything, you know, the way, the way you explain things, the way you explain ballistic, the way you explain laser, the way you explain heat. Just when I thought I figured it out, but they ask questions that I just don't know what I'm talking about. So then you have to go back and do research. I have to go back and ask other people and go back to the forum and do it because just it, just sometimes the way you explain it, it they made uh, it. You have to come up from a you know outside of the box thinking because you just can't go from one new player to another new player assuming that that's just the way how you explain something. So that's a good example. And um, also it's uh, you know you know what you have to look at. YouTube, stream, gameplay, all those things. No, it's all have to be outside the box thinking also because new players don't have any historical knowledge of what happened. They don't know who's who. They don't know he's a veteran player. They don't know the background between this unit versus this unit. They don't know the rival. They don't. They just don't know. So as a result, when you when when what you find exciting, it may not be exciting to them. And what you find that is uh, frustrating is not may not be frustrating to them. So you have forced you to think outside the box, like with literally with everything. And um, for example, the other thing is you know you're looking at like build and gameplays. You know you you kind of come accustomed and said this is the meta build, this is the best build, and everybody's using that. But then you then you bump into a new player who's only 13 years old and he he just know how to shoot really really well. And then you bump into another new player, he's 50 something years old, and all he care about is he just want to come in and just chill and have a great time. And he just want to, you know, run around and shoot a few things and that's it. So you got all different type of player, all different type of new skill, but you know, you, you're approaching it from an outside the box thinking. I think that to me is, is one of the most amazing and most, most fun thing to hang out with new players is you constantly thinking outside the box. Number five, Be, you know, a lot of people always say this is the best mech, best build, meta back, better build. You know, these are the rules. You know, like go by. You know, you, when you talk to people, if you're not pilot, if you're not using this mech, therefore you're not really that good. Um, so number five is best mech is the mech they can afford uh, for new players. So really, to them, if if the first mech is the Timberwolf, uh, like my first mech was the Atlas. And I love the Atlas. I still love the Atlas to this day. You cannot get away from that. New players, whatever they can afford, and that's become their primary max. And you know what? That's their best max. And you know they're gonna enjoy. It. They're gonna have fun. And um, 
So number five would make uh, best Mac is the Mac they can afford, but with that, it really it make ugly Mac look fun more so than anything else because they will pilot things and they will put weapon system on certain things that are just like out of the box thinking like what the heck why would you do that uh they just make make all these ugly mechs look fun the other thing is they make lom look fun so um you know like i don't know how to play lom at all i am horrible in lom uh, i really play in lom but you know when you watch them play lom lom it just look like a lot of fun man so they make certain things look fun so that's one thing I like about the number five. Uh, best Mac is the Mac they can afford. Number six, uh, which is go along with make Mac look fun, but this is make ugly map look fun. Ugly map. So there's a lot of map out there that I'm just like really uncomfortable. Like the new HPG, I'm really uncomfortable. Uh, Caustic Valley, uh, the old Caustic Valley, I was really uncomfortable. And but for some reason with new players every map to them is fun you know so they make the ugliest map the ugliest situation fun and I just that fun that uh, that excitement that you know that running around trying to shoot people to me I, I love the energy so I, I just love meeting new player and that because they make any map look fun and it's just like wow you know I love to hang out with this guy with this map and so that's uh, that's one thing I love about hanging out, the most exciting thing about hanging out with new players is they just make ugly map look fun. Number seven, no such thing as noobs, uh, just pilot timing, you know, so the word noobs mean they're just like dumb as a rock or something. I, I don't know how you translate noobs, but uh, they're just not, uh, it has a negative connotations to it. But you know, they're just new, it doesn't mean they're bad and they just need time, but what what the excitement about being a new player is that they first of all you can't really generalize them because they come from all shape and size all kind of background all kind of skill level some of them are really really good because they come from another shooting uh, shooter game and some of them are not they're coming from like minecraft and they just kind of like what is this that that's me you know like i didn't know what it is you know like wow and so I'm, I'm shocked by it. So, you know, so the learning curve is different. Some learning curve are very fast and really uh, steep. But in the day, they're not noobs. They just, they just need some pilot time. They just need gaming time. You know, a couple hundred hours, I think they're fine. So, and I love hanging out with them. I love talking to new players. I, I love to hear from what, where they come from. So when you play with me, I always ask them, what game did you come from? You know, it's just, it just so much fun to hear their background and, and, and opinions of that. Number eight, new player use all facets of MWO, uh, the world of MWO, the world of MacWarrior Online. New player use all facets of them. What I mean is that they use all the social media. They, they, they want it. They are so information hungry. So they will. You'll see them in Facebook. You see them in Instagram. You see them in Twitter. You see them in Reddit. Like I log when I first logged in, I was in Reddit a lot, and that, now I don't even. I don't even know what Reddit is. I don't even you know checking them. They were in GameSpot. Then. Then uh, they are, new players are everywhere because they just want to know how to do something. So it's it's amazing, it's fun uh, just to read about it, you know, following people, just watch them grow and mature. And uh, you know, for me, I only use one Discord, but you know, some new player they have like ten Discord. They have all these things going on, and they're in the forum and in discussions. They're constantly asking questions. So. I love number eight. Uh, new players use all facets of information warfare. I mean, they just kind of like, they're all out there. They're just everywhere, just trying to get the information. So I am very impressed with that. Um, number nine, I love how new players, uh, this is to me, it's funny. So my sister video to this is the other video called the 10 frustration thing. And I just love how, uh, how new player trigger emotional breakdown on veterans and all. Or, or what's so-called veteran or experience or guys who've been playing a long time. So like new players, literally one thing I love about it, they just go do and just do what they want to do and they just have fun. They enjoy this game. They are gamers just like all of us and they're just making video, making uh, you know Twitch, you know, uploading stuff in Facebook. They don't know who's who. They, they just enjoy and have fun. But one thing I love is how new players trigger emotional, like emotional wreck, emotional breakdown on veteran player, you know, it's just, and it's it just, they don't know, sometimes they don't realize they're being trolled, so it's just a lot, a lot of fun watching how some of these new players, I mean, I'll give an example here, you know, 
this is CDU Team America, you know, for some reason they were under the impression that we are, we are so emotional breakdown, so because of this one YouTube video, but you can see these are all the guys that in my team and they're playing with me, we're all having fun, we are just doing our continue on. So new player is just amazing with that. It's, it's just so funny to hang out with new players, just to watch them uh, uh, trigger, uh, you know, veterans player, and it just, it just, it, it, it's funny as heck. Up. I, I can't stop laughing all that. Hey, right. number ten. The best part about new player communities that there are many, many of them. Uh, CDU has over 230 of them, and uh, and I see them all the time, and just enjoy. Some of them I. I don't see for like you know five minutes here. Some of them I see like every day. Some of them I see like once a week. But you know they all play. But new players come from all shape and size, and colors and background and experience. And it's just a lot of them. There are more new players than there are veteran players and all the other type of players. So um, so I'm so so happy that we are we are you know focus on new players. And so I just love meeting new players. And uh, so. Yeah, so this is amazing. Hey, thank you, everyone. So that was number 10. So there's just a lot of new players, all right, in the community, and that's what makes it fun, all right. With that, hey, uh, if you can, I'm going to, uh, you, you can go ahead and watch our CDU training here. This video is our CDU training. I'm going to watch it all. I'm going to leave it all the way until the end. Okay, uh, yeah, just watch us. We're having fun, and we're playing, we're shooting, we're winning, losing, and, and uh, so with that, I will leave you alone. Please subscribe. Please comment. So uh, this is the 10 uh, most amazing things about new players. So uh, see you later, all guys. I I'll go up in tonnage, but if you want to go up in tonnage, that's cool. Yeah. I I'm here to balance the game out a little bit. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 the thing. You you hit nail on the head because number one, not only we're max unbalanced, but then we have skill unbalanced. Uh, so by adding blue dough, that will that will definitely skill balance a little bit. Also, I'm not going to be engaging into your back lines right now. I'm also going to be playing the spider. Okay. So. I could switch to something I'm a little less practiced in. Cyclops is one of my best mechs. All right, let me get T86 in the group here. Uh, we'll, 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 have, we'll be like outnumbered. It's all right. We'll just focus on that. Uh, uh, Mr. Dread, I need to take off for a bit. Okay, that's fine. I'll, uh, we'll put T86 the joy in, in the joy of having group. a really large clan. You can yep. maintain large groups like this. So one of the things that we learned on, on my side was, so I was in a safe area as I was coming up. Uh, I'm in the Cyclops. So you guys engage our medium group, which was in front of us, but then they call for the assault mechs. Um, so I went out there right away, blindly, just went out there. Obviously I'm exposed to fire from all direction. I was dead instantly after that. Uh, um, I th the ammo explosion would kill me. I don't think anybody specifically shot anywhere that killed me, but the ammo explosion killed me. The the when I look back, if this was quick play, let's say that I don't know any of you, and somebody will call for assault mech, I probably would not go up there, even though the call is up there, up there, because the reason is as assault mech pilot, I'm exposing to a large group, large area that anybody can shoot me from. That's the reason why I would be hesitant. But in calm, and as a team fight, if somebody called for an assault max, I'm gonna go up there whether, I'm, you know, whether logically makes sense or not in some way, you know what I mean? Number one, because I don't know what's on the other side was. I don't know what you were shooting at until I got up there. It may be just one mech, and it was one mech. It was just jamming in his, in his what, what was his mech in? Jamming? Dragon. Dragon, it was, it was it. That's the only mech that, so then, I, from there, I, I made a decision. Let's go ahead and kill that dragon uh, uh, because he was by himself. Let's kill him, but we couldn't kill him, and I died in the process. So that's what I that's what I discovered. Okay, let's go ahead and max out the tonnage if we can. Everybody can go as heavy as you want. We're gonna try to max the tonnage. Uh, Rat Ratman, if you want to stay in the flea, uh, go ahead and blue down and go up tonnage. Then you can play you can play assault mix with me. I'm uh, gonna need a uh, an invite. Yep, you're gonna take uh, Dredge the spot. Sure thing. I can play almost any turn as you want. You want me to wait for other people to jump in first? Yeah, yeah. Who, who's that talking? I'm sorry. That was Rathanima. Oh, uh, Rathanima. Yeah. Oh, I know you can play. You can play any time because you have a lot of max. So, but so. But let everybody else max out. 
Yeah, let everybody else go first, and I'll let I'll go I'll go last. Well, all right. No. Well, I don't think Hero can go any higher. Yep, we we just max out 475, so we're stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> what I can do is, I can come down, but we we we, we try not to do that. That's too much altering. Have you thought of a victor instead of that dire wolf? No. I like the boat. Option. The big old fat elephant. It's an option and it's a lot quicker. Mm. <laughs> I mean I can stay I can stay in this flea just fine. I can give you a little bit more if you guys need. There, that's a little quicker and now you have ten pound ten tons. Now, let's see if I can get into my uh Arctic cheater. Must be from the northeast. Cheater. <laughs> Put an R on the end of that. <laughs> you know, usually the way it works is um, I'm just going to go and cap. And what you guys do is you tell me generally which area you want me to run to first. I'd so, like to have two people capping. Is that good? That's that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Like um, cap with you. That's cool. Uh, I usually suicidally run towards Theta and cap that immediately. Let's go. Now you got space to jump up, whoever wants to. Well, I could go towards Gamma, and then that's uh, be a alternative capper for you. See, now, as, as mech pilots and playing in comp, you all should be aware of the tactics map. Yeah, we're we all looking at it right now. We, we all, not, we all have it open. Well, for those of us with two screens, oh. keep it open during the competition, and you can instantly look and be like, ah, there's Sigma. Yeah, but you can also look on the on like the compass on the top of your your UI. Bloodsucker, you want to ready up or the same? I was trying to look for that map. Yep. Go I mean, I clicked on some. Do we need more tonnage? We're, we're all ready. Yeah, we just ready. lost a lot of tonnage. Do you, do you see me writing something? You me see me write, draw a smiley face? Do you, Chero, anybody? can you go back up to what you had before? I could. I yeah, just please. To run around and and. Uh, well, because we need to fill up the tonnage, that's why. Why? Why do you have yeah. to? I'll take the tonnage if you don't want it. All right. Yeah, go for it. Go ahead. By all means. We only need so many tiny little people. Yeah, but there's only one person capping. Right? Bluto, was that you yeah. the only one capping? I, I, I do a fine job and I can do it by myself. Go ahead, I mean, go ahead and change the tonnage so cap, we can start. By all means. You need help, Pluto. I'm gonna help you. Alright. I know you like to be a lone wolf, but But realize that I go over mountains and and I I use jump jets. Oh, they're they're short a person too. He's killing me. Can I go up? Okay. There's, there, there's a there's a reason you can't find me. I'm going to find you. I'm going to catch you, and we're going to kick ass capping. This is that over tonnage. This is Team Bravo's newest weapon, this Spider 5B. <laughs> Someone's got to drop down 10. All right, I can do that. There you go. We're oh, good wait, to I'll, go. I'll go. I'll go, Victor. I'll go, Victor. I'm gonna give full disclosure for Blue though. He shared with me that he's in therapy for not being able to ask for help. So this okay, is why let's I'm go. Let's all ready up. Uh, real quick, can I go <laughs> Grasshopper? You can go Grasshopper. Titan. Okay. Titan, ready up. Okay. Hey, Perfect. Go. Yeah, 480. 480 is still legal. We are at max tonnage. Everyone, lock and ready. All right, uh, Cheryl, ready up. Shit. Ooh, Ratman Spling Atlas. It's been interesting. Oh, there you go. Oh, this yeah, is going to be nasty. Got first the target all, you guys, my forehead. Uh, first of all, you guys learn a lot by any chance? You, you learn... I have, uh, have, I, I, is this working? I always want... That's one of the feedback I ask. Uh, we won't know until the individuals that are training <laughs> train. <laughs> I think we are training, at least. 
we, we are. I le- I learned a lot. Well, I mean, I don't know about anybody else. I'm. I mean, I'm a little late, but I guarantee I'm going to learn something. Look at Mono, man. Like he he has learned a lot. When Boy, does see Mono in action? When the oh, uh, this game is ready. Mono's learning from uh, Orca is one of the very good, very good. Are we, in, are we on the left side of the map or the right side? Are we in G4 or G12? We're on the left side. Oh, left side. Start the map. All right. Hey, juke off and hit Epsi and hit Capo while I run at Theta. Are you you sure? want me to do that? Yes. You want me to hit what? Epsi? Epsi and right. then Kappa. Where, where yeah. do you want the main force, Pluto? Uh, the main force runs to Theta. Copy. That's where the fight's going to be. Copy. Yeah, yeah. Now, by all means, the lights may call you guys to push one way or the other. And we're just trying to, you know, keep you aimed straight. Copy. Uh, so Pluto, Pluto, I'm going to pr- try to protect you, man. Yeah. <laughs> and Pluto, your bodyguard. <laughs> Pluto, you're taking uh, the, uh, the call, the drop call for the whole thing? Uh, No, no, no. So it was advice, and now I am done speaking because it's a little hard to focus. Oh, I was hoping you'd do it so we can... I'm not very good at this stuff. I'm not itchy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? oh, no. Brain pan don't work too well that way. Okay, okay. Take a fire from Epsilon. Copy. Do you want to copy? <laughs> Theta is controlled by the enemy. We lost Theta. We don't need no thinking Theta. <laughs> Somebody's blowing their nose, I can hear you. Oh, that was me, sorry. After I do Kappa, what do you want me to do, Blue Dog? Uh, keep spinning, keep spinning. What, you want to go clockwise or a clockwise rotation on your gotcha. own? Gotcha. And then if you run into any resistance, spin again. Command gotcha. confirming that we have possession of Kappa. Right. I see a mech in Hotel 8, left of Theta. Confirming your locations. Um, we're, we're in the 7 right now. I'm gonna hold for the assault. Uh, the assassin. Alpha is an assassin. Should we take data back? Yes. Three on camera. But we're waiting for. I'm waiting. Their lights are Anyone on camera. assault or what? I'm locked. I'm stuck in the ground. Uh, they have snipers. Uh, executioner and one more guy. Yeah, there's something else behind that. A little bit of advice. Stop identifying the max. Shooter Charlie. Okay. We are engaged in combat in the data area. Target spotted. All right, assault mechs, we're waiting on you. Are you coming? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab we, data. We grabbing data. It's on a pose. We got data. I'm gonna hit Sigma in one minute. Target spotted. Comes Mono at the left. Yep, Balkan on the left side. He's not coming anywhere. Jammin is Jammin is up on top. Jammin is on H9. Yep, Charlie, Jammin. Uh, it looked like Jammin is unsupported. I'm gonna put UAV up to make sure. Let's UAV. Get him. Launching UAV. Assault mechs coming in. Foxtrot, shooting Foxtrot. Engage Foxtrot. This is Crichton. Let's engage Crichton. Foxtrot is Cyclops. Put uh, put artillery on him. Oh shoot, I dropped artillery on myself. Engaging Master Pit. That's my artillery, get away. Alright, Atlas in front. Follow the Atlas. Copy, following Atlas. Going after Bravo. Applying. To your left. Cyclop behind us. Cyclop behind us. Applying. I just took out his arm. Cyclop had only one weapon left. Target spotted. Airstrike online. Enter target. 
Going after Alpha. Alpha. Charlie Alpha. just dropped down. Hitting Alpha Alpha. Yep. Charlie is down. Going after Golf. Copy. Night Stalker. Copy. Switch target beta. New target acquired. Beta is unguarded. Beta Stalker boxes is open in the Golf middle. In the back. Golf in the back. Shoot him back. Alpha, Alpha, stay on Alpha. Shoot Golf before you kill him. Golf is down. Golf is down. We need to keep holding on to Alpha's killing me. Target. No, I got him, I got him. Bravo, get Bravo. Get Bravo. Are you okay with Bravo? Destroy. Bravo down. Okay. Bravo down. Copy. Split and cap. New target I'm gonna go acquired. get go, uh, Gamma. Delta is in the open. Belt is open on the back. Copy, I'm gonna swing around to the left. Looking at Delta, Delta. Delta and someone else behind him has their attention on me coming in. Yep, Delta's head, Delta. Delta heading toward your way. He's in Theta. There's an assassin behind me. He just ran away from me. Hostiles have collected 50% of their resources. Capture resource points from them to stop the bleeding. Back on Delta. Delta Delta's gone. down. I'm, I'm a fast mover. Should I go for points? Yes, go for point now. Yeah, I'm on. Light yeah, killer going for points. Yep. Go for I'm going after a light in uh, Indiana 11. Going Fast for a Identify signal. yourself. I call Epsilon. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm slow max. We're I'm just going to stay in theta. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm going for the light that's taking, trying to take Sigma. I'm, I'm going to move toward Epsilon. I'm slow, but I'm going to move toward Epsilon just in case. Enemy forces have Sigma. Atlas, can you stay in Theta? Because you only have two mechs, guys. I'm yeah. just moving to Overwatch. Okay, you, you get Overwatch then. Atlas, you stay in Theta. We're, we're going to move. Come on, Cheetah. I'm on Overwatch on the right side of Theta. You see someone there? Because he's getting behind you. Ten seconds, Epsilon. Mark him. Uh, Spider's but, running. Spider's running to H9. Atlas, you got a mech behind you. Taking Sigma. Target. H9. Okay. Target spotted. I just hit Echo. Okay, going out again. I put an airstrike on on uh, Theta. Chiro, when you're what? happy, don't stop moving. Oh, thank you. You know what it is, I feel so confident that nobody's around here, but you're right. Yeah, you don't stop moving. Because you never know, you might be trying to zero in. Leg, leg, leg. Yeah. Getting leg. And I can't tell you how many times that happened, you're right. And I'm just going to cap it enough to get it. There you go. Look at that, guys. <laughs> well, it's a huge difference when you have a really good light mech pilot. With a, I'm not saying bad about any <laughs> light mech pilot. But they are skilled. Skill no, 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 no. Most of that was you guys. I capped one target. Well, our strategy was better. Like the. It's worked out. Whatever we, we did, it worked out. It, yeah, it's, the, it's, the it's two light like men. In my yeah. opinion. You need two like men. I'm cutting it down to Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo. Instead of the Summoner, the Kit Fox, the Executioner, Alpha, oh, Bravo, okay. Charlie, Delta, Indigo. Oh. It helps. I'm, I'm oh, curious to hear what they say. What, I, I don't know what worked, tell you the truth. I think, I think it was individually, we did, uh, individually we fought better, but however, I'm not sure what. Well, in the, in the purposes of keeping the comms clearer so that everybody has a chance to call out, it's yeah. better if you just use their identifier. Yeah. And it's something we found out doing Bravo, year to year. As much as we know about this this game, and as, as much knowledge as we have, not everybody knows what a fucking slurper is. All right. I think you outnumbered us a little. Uh, we got a bit uh, screwed over, but it's all right. We got 
Hey, I mean, we had fun. Had to do. <laughs> hey, the training that you guys need to do happened, and the training that we needed to do with Mono happened, so... Hey, it works. Yeah, you guys were, uh... You guys were on my ass. <laughs> that was just me. <laughs> Luda, that was literally just me chasing you halfway across the map. <sighs> I found that very funny. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Just two spiders duking it out. <laughs> with two medium pulse each. Alright, are those guys coming up or they they work on their same thing? Uh I'm thinking Orga and Mono are just talking. Silent has to leave, I believe. Okay. Uh let's I'm gonna work my way down up this time. Titan, what what was your feedback? What do you seen? Oh wait, just that first uh, before oh. I'm sorry, before we start, is 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 uh is this the last game? Should should this be the last game? Then we uh, can just focus. We don't really have a lot of people left on team two. Okay. Let's just make it the last game, so this is the after action for the whole thing. Right. Okay. You can run whatever you want. Uh, no, I think that was just... Wait, we're doing one more game, Crypto? Is that it? No, no, we're done. We're done, we're done? Okay. Yeah, well, we're done. We're making like this the last between... game of the day. No, I mean, that was the okay. last game. This is yeah. this is the review for the, for the, for the whole day, for the whole thing. Let me just grab the others real quick, then. Yeah, okay. grab everybody, and then we'll just... Then we'll, we can break off, because... Break off. No! First of all, Pluto, I want to say thank you for coming out and uh, and joining us. Uh, it, it just add perspective, you know? Hey, no problem. So... Pluto. Yo. <laughs> is Mono coming? Jamming coming? Mono, 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 yeah. Mono. I'm here. No, no, no. Hey, um, <laughs> so, so that was the last, that was the last game. So I, what I would like to do is we'll do a good deep dive review. We can spend some time talking about some stuff. And then for some of you who want to work on individual, I'd rather take the time for you to work on one-on-one -on -one or four-on-four -on -four or a smaller group setting with some of the players. Like if Orca and Mono want to still work on some stuff, by all means. And uh, and also Crichton, if you want to work on some stuff, by all means too. Um, so this way you have uh, time for that. So I want a lot of time for that. So since this is the overall review, I'm going to ask three questions. Number one is uh, so to get you to think about things. You don't have to answer these three questions. I'm just getting you to think about it. Number one, how do you like the training tonight? Because we do this every Thursday, CDU regardless. And um, and this format I got it from Clan Widowmaker, so I didn't even give the credit. I shouldn't. I give them credit where they at. So I want to give credit to Bob Nelson, Clan Widowmaker, for giving us an idea to do the training. Um, and the second question I have is, if uh, do you like the formats? You know, you like the Thursday training. Do you like the format? Do you want to see something else more? Just um, you know, you want to do more like fight on fight, or do like just learn how to pop tar, learn how to shoot light. You know, do that type of format. And then the third one I want to ask is, what did you learn today um, that, that you didn't learn before? So those are the three questions I ask you. So if you don't have anything else to answer, uh, to, to say, at least answer one of those three. All right, with that, I'm going to go down the list. Uh, I'll leave Block Tech, uh, I'll leave the group leader, whoever the group leader is, I'll leave them at yeah. the end. So I'm going to go down the list. Uh, Chiro? Yo, can you hear me? Yep. No brainer. This last game, we I knew that we needed another light. We needed capping power because when you cap, you're throwing into offense, and they're screaming, going, "We're behind," and and that's a good advantage. So I love Blue Dog going, Cairo, go go to the right, take two caps. He went to the left, took two caps. We had four caps. We were killing. So that confirmed that strategy, and the strategy of sticking together from two three games ago. And creating a line, how powerful that could be, that really helped me out. And that's it. Okay, Orca? Uh, definitely you guys stay together better that game, which I think is very powerful. Um, I will say whoever was playing the Centurion, you have some mad skills when it comes to torso twisting, and just really good job on that. Uh, thank you. That was Bloodsucker. All right. Uh, you, you did amazing. All right. That's Rat my best mech. All right, Ratman. Oh shit. Yeah, we did a good job. Good fight. Okay. That's it? Okay. Sanju? Did good. 
T86, I apologize. You came in for that one game. Now we're, we're done. And But uh, you have any comments for this? Oh, it's fine. It was a good game. I had a lot of fun. Um, I guess the one thing I learned is like, not even necessarily just throughout this game and training, but like throughout my time doing comp with you guys is, um, I went from being a player who normally liked to stay a lot near the rear and just kind of take pot shots at the enemy and was like really, really afraid of rolling up and getting damaged a lot. But, um, when, and normally what I would do is I have my shadow cat with two ER large lasers and just a tag, but I switched out the tag for, um, for ATMs. So now nice. I'm forcing myself to, to get into the fight and communicate a lot better with everyone and, and really kind of push myself into it. And I think that being out of my element like that is really kind of helping me improve as a player. Um, just being, is being forced into a different situation and being forced into the front. Okay, right. awesome. Thanks for, uh, for sharing that to us. Bloodsucker? Bloodsucker, you there? Yeah, I am here. That was that was my first training session with you guys. So, uh, kind of educational. Uh, I've been really working hard to kind of like get my skills brought back up from being rusty and not playing. I picked a bunch of mechs that I'm really, really good at. So I'm not saying I really learned anything that's on me. Because uh, I'm like a fast light killer uh, a scout. And I do like lots of support roles. And that's pretty much what I was doing the whole time. I won't bring Lerms next time. That was my fault. I was the Lerm boat in the first match. Okay. I realize that's not a strategy we're going to use, so I won't do that. I learned that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Pluto? Hey, at least you got a chance to try it. You didn't just get shot it down immediately. Um, yes. I had a thought, but then I said that, and now I can't remember what I was going to say. We can come back to you, okay? Yeah. All right. Crichton? Uh, Yeah, so uh, I feel like both teams did pretty well. Uh, the main engagement lasted quite a while and it was simply a matter of tonnage that kind of pushed us around. I've noticed that we had significantly lower damage scores, but I think that was just a result of uh, less tonnage. I, one I of will the say the Shadow Cat did a nice job of flanking me. You, you know, if I go back and review the video, the, we, you and I went on a one-on-one. -on -one. Once I realized I couldn't kill you and my teammate need help, I peel off. I don't know if that's a good decision or not because I feel I could kill you, but and then again, I could feel like I waste more time uh, trying to kill you also. Uh, I, I figured my time was better to spend to help my teammates, so I peel off from you. So I don't know what, I don't know what, your, what your take on that. Um, so we got the highest damage of our team by about double. So shutting me down probably would have been a good idea but by peeling off you probably shut down the rest of our team too so I, it's hard to say after the fact i know that i got a couple of backs when you all were rushing through the pass together but it wasn't much and uh i don't think we capitalized on it oh okay thanks thanks for being uh, jamming good to see you brother yeah yeah how's it going yeah. so that first match we did you yeah. put me on uh on the opposing team yeah and uh they have crazy nice momentum at least for that that first round um and then from then on me personally i was just fighting myself in bad positioning uh yeah. I think I got, I, you were on top of that hill right then yeah you swing around and came around that dragon uh you started pumping shots into me and i absorbed it i knew i knew i had endo I had a endo steel structure and internal, so I could take quite a bit. But what killed you was I targeted your heart weak point, which is your arm, on your hitbox, and you blew up. That's yep, it. exactly. So yeah, just um, the momentum seems like it has the the, the biggest impact uh -huh. in these games. Uh, the momentum is very key. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, um, uh, next one is uh, Mono. Yeah, I just want to say uh, <clears throat> running with, with Orca and having Crichton, uh, Crichton's input has really, really helped me. I I, uh, I literally hated this Vulcan when I first got, got into it. But, you know, I take him out now and I, I do okay. I've had some good matches in him. But 
um, I really appreciate you guys training, you know, and if you see me on online and you want to run, let's do it. <laughs> so. Well, when you see Orca on, you want to run with him as much as you can. Yeah. You, like you uh, run he, with me, does not help you. Yeah. Uh, I, like, number one, when you watch me play, I, I, I cannot really transfer what I know to you because I'm not, very, I'm not itchy, I'm not that, that good. Uh, number two, I, I don't know much about the medium max and light max. Uh, I play pr primarily heavy and primarily the grasshopper and and so and further up, and so uh, yeah. When you see uh, Orca, Black Tack, all the Bandit, all, all the Team Bravo guys, Bluto, yeah. play with them yeah. as much you can. No, I appreciate that you play with me, but like I said, you're not gonna get any more skill playing with me. Uh, but if you play in a salt mech, maybe I can contribute some some contribution to your success. You know, you do good in your Vulcan, man. Don't 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 say that. But but anyhow. All right. Uh, anything else, Mono? No, no. That that's it. Okay. Silent. Silent, you still there? I think Silent. I believe. Okay. Titan. Uh, Titan Monkey. Yeah. Uh, I. Is, I just want to thank you, all you guys that helped us, you guys from Team Bandits. It was really nice. Yeah. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, the advice on calling the targets only by the letter on top of them, that's really helpful. And uh, I actually realized that, as Chiro said, we need like two light mags to cap different points at the same time to put a little more pressure in the enemy. So that was that was really eye opening. Like, if you want to play defensive, we gotta have like a lot of people capping. That's my opinion. But overall, thank you, thank you all, thank you all. Yamis, you, you got anything for us? Um, no, I didn't really catch most of those games. So I was kind of just hanging out. Okay, okay, no problem. We, we, we're gonna break yeah. off after this, too, and you can jump into in more individual training. Uh, four and four uh, with with some of the guys, so you're more welcome to stick around. Uh, cool, Black, cool. Yep. Uh, Black Tax, yeah. you, you got the uh, last call, and then I'll have three final words. Uh, basically, I think that like from the first game, like you guys were a little bit separated, and that kind of was the end of you. We were able to uh, pick apart your team. You guys weren't really. I don't think you were really expecting the engagement. There wasn't really a battle line going. We kind of like picked you apart one by one. And you gotta be careful of that. I think in comp, a lot of the times, the team who can actually pick apart one mech at a time generally will be the victorious one because you're reducing the amount of damage they can do and the amount of damage they can take if you just annihilate one mech, which then starts snowballing, right? So if you get one zero, it's it's already in your advantage. If you get two zero, then it's just gonna start going up and up and up, right? So that's just, in general, you guys wanna stick together a little bit more. Uh, for lights, yes, if you wanna play a bit more defensively, lights, need more lights one light is not going to do it when we do in bandits we have two lights one of them specifically just goes caps and the other one is like a capper slash backstabber so i'll be playing let's say like a piranha i'll be going in for hits in the rear just, just turn people around while we have one going for caps which applies i've more got to go there. i've got to drop with my unit but uh okay. good to play with you all guys yeah, no thanks Crichton. great other than that, well, on the last game, minus well, the fact Quentin that you guys... was 10 second? Yeah, yeah, it yeah, it's just 10 second. Uh, all right, uh, Black Tax, go, go appreciate ahead, it. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, so I have three points. So the first point was for Crichton, but he's going to lead, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in here. Hey, Crichton, I want to say thank you for coming out and help us. I want to thank the Team Bandit, uh, Beatdown, I'm sorry, not Bandit, uh, the, the unit from Beatdown. And uh, when you see Cal, tell him, say hi. And uh, thank you for for coming out and supporting us. And we always welcome AV veteran community to come and help us because we all knew we all, we only know what we know until somebody show us. And sometimes when you show us, we still don't follow you, but don't hate us for that uh, because we. I mean, it's it's at the end of the day, it's just a video game. So so thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Good luck out there. All right, thanks. You too. Uh, I'm sorry, Black Tech. Go ahead and you uh, go back to your thing. No, just generally when you guys stick together, it seems to work out better. Right. I don't know if you really have another light pile besides Brenta. Brenta was telling me that you guys really only rely on him to do the like the light stuff, which yeah. kind of could be a detriment in some cases. Yeah, you make up the ton somewhere well, else. Well, now we got Ratman to to, you know, now we have Ratman. In, in this map, we have to use two lights, so now we know 
So yeah. Ratman will be Brenda and Light, uh, and Ratman gonna have to operate together. Yeah. What uh, you guys need to do is between those two. Yeah. You need to figure out which one is better at running the points and which one is better at helping. Yeah. Copy. Okay, that's, we'll that's figure it out. We have you know a couple more weeks. We have one more practice. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. So if you, are you good with Black Tech? Uh, the only other point I'm going to say is that uh, crypto, maybe just don't micromanage the lights right now. Obviously, you're going to have to because, you know, everybody's new and whatnot. But once they get a little bit more comfortable, they'll be knowing what they need to do for the most part yeah. and where they need to be at. And once they get to that point, you don't really have to micromanage them as much. Sure. They'll just do that. What you need okay. To. I remembered I remembered what my point was. Yep. Uh, somebody had asked me uh, during the match, at the beginning of the match, well, then how do you do and how do you do? Um. When we make the calls that we make as lights capping, it's on gut instinct and feeling. When we decide we're going to hit theta, we know we're going to hit theta. What happens after that is based on how our mech is positioned when we get pushed off of theta. So there's no way to just decide, okay, I'm going to take Theta, and then I'm going to take Sigma, and then I'm going to take Gamma, and then I'm going to go over and get Kappa and Epsilon. Because at some point along the way, somebody may decide to shoot at you, and now you can't go the way you thought you were going to go. Yeah, you have to be pretty fluid about it. So you okay. have to be fluid about just that. So you have to be able to bounce off and have a place to go. Because what you were going to do... That whole area is hot now. Yep. Do you guys make a conscious effort to get Theta first? Yep. Yeah. Always. Okay. It takes the longest to get most mechs there to take it back. Yep. Yo, guys, so I, got, I got a dash. It was really fun playing with all of you. Blue Dope, really cool. Capping and Crypto. Appreciate all the time you put into this, man. Appreciate it from everybody, yeah. I'm sure. Hey, man. Nice yeah, playing with you, Okay, um, Go ahead. I got two points. Um, first, we do this every Thursday, guys. So um, you always, you know, at 7 p.m. Unfortunately, when you do the 7 p.m. on Thursday, the team European can't play and the team Asia can't play the Australia guys. They do have their own training schedule time. And if you if you're like me who work in the basement and write books, you can jump in Team Europe to help them out and then also Team Asia to help them out. Uh, please support our fellow CDU uh, teammates uh, and we'll continue to grow the community, uh, not just CDU, but MWO community. So mm. every Thursday. The, set, the third part is, I, like I said, I, once again, um, I make YouTube video all the time, so I want to be, I want to let you know that um, there's no such thing as a, a perfect video. There's somebody's going to get upset and somebody's going to get mad and I want to apologize it's never ever made anything right and sometimes you don't know until you create it and then you realize that's probably not what I should have made it's probably probably the intent the intent I don't have a producer when I was in Hollywood I had a team that that's writing producing and quality control this is just me making video for YouTube just to have fun because I love this game and then uh, based on observe based on my lesson learned so I can share my knowledge to people and it's not necessarily I do this for money or anything like that. I mean, I do get paid for by my sponsor, but that's that's a whole different ball game, right? Uh, so I want to say that I'm sorry for that. And like I said, every time we do these things, I always stress for professionalism and game. You will never hear me curse, uh, insult people, disrespect people. Um, now my opinion may be different. I may become strong and and, and have strong, but I, I will never disrespect any of you. Um, because you're all gamers just like me, you know? We're all gamers and we just wanna play the greatest game in in this world and this is one of the best game ever ever created and that's MWO. Oh, I like that. That's nice. Yeah. That's all hate no thank worries, you. Worries, man. Yeah. I mean all I right, mean guys. think we uh, all right guys, take it easy. I'm sorry, Thanks. I cut you off, what do you say? It means a lot, crypto. Thank you very much. Yep.